Peggy 18. Something that was really important for us for Primal was to make sure um, the stories happening in the world were really uh, intertwined. It's part of the Far Cry DNA. You fight the way you want, you have all the toys you want, you can uh, explore the way you want. It's really a game that's about freedom and uh, letting the player decide how he wants to play. The player will be Takar, Stone Age hunter, looking for uh, his lost people, the Wenjas. The Wenja tribe has been uh, destroyed, scattered around by two very different but very aggressive tribes. In order to reunite the Winja, Takar uh, will need to uh, go uh, and explore uh, all Oros to try and find the key members of the tribe and get them into a safe haven. The village is actually the spine of, of the narrative. So if you do activities in the open world, you're actually going to probably free Winja that are going to make your village grow. If you go and do the main missions, you're going to encounter a new uh, specialist that uh, will uh, provide you um, with uh, new skills and knowledge that will uh, get you stronger. Far Cry games are about exotic location, uh, places with weird characters, but also about authenticity. So when the team decided to recreate the Proto-Indo-European language, we turned uh, to uh, experts that we found uh, to help us recreate a language that has been dead for uh, 12,000 years. We were contacted by Ubisoft to create a language based off of Proto-Indo-European for Far Cry Primal. First, we thought it was going to be something small, and then it became clear that the entire game was going to be in at least two, if not three, versions of Proto-Indo-European, which is huge. So Proto-Indo-European was a language that was spoken thousands of years ago. It's the source of many languages that are spoken today, uh, languages like English and Spanish and, and Russian, but also the source of ancient languages like Latin, Greek, and Sanskrit. For Winja, what we wanted to do was to create a proto-proto-Indo-European, something that goes even further back in time. So we looked at certain very ancient features of proto-Indo-European, and we assumed them to be the baseline for not only the Winja tribe, but also the Udam. Nakrabi Hirak is bad. The creative team views the Azila as a more advanced tribe, so we thought it would be a good idea to give them a more advanced stage of the language. <laughs> Sometimes we ran into problems where there weren't words that we can reconstruct for Proto-Indo-European. So for example, we know of about 20 different roots for the verb to shine. We have no idea how they said yes. It's been quite an exciting and uh, even moving uh, experience to, to see how um, uh, the culture that was dead for thousands of years could be brought back. We like to produce games that are set in, uh, in places or times uh, where, in addition to a fun, you could learn a little something or discover uh, something that is part of our world and our cultures. It's this kind of uh, experience we also wanted to show in, uh, in Primal, show a bit what was the life of uh, Stone Age hunters. And this is what the player will experience. 